New developments in the case involving a Lompoc man missing for more than two years now. As we first reported last night, the vehicle belonging to 28-year-old Zachary Wilkes has been located, but we are learning tonight that no one was found inside that vehicle. KSBY's Melissa Newman spoke to Wilkes' family. She joins us now live in the newsroom with their reaction. Melissa? Karina, the Wilkes family tells me they haven't stopped looking for answers as to what happened to Zachary since he first disappeared over two years ago. But now this new development has not only left them with more questions, but also feelings of frustrations, wondering how their son seemingly left without a trace. We cannot really go to bed at night without thinking about where our son may be. The last two years have been difficult for the Wilkes, trying to cope with the missing hole they have in their family. I replayed a message that I got from him before he left, and he sang me happy birthday over the phone, and I still have that message. And so as I played that on Sunday, it really brought back some, uh, some strong memories of Zachary. And then on uh, Monday, we get the call. David Wilkes, Zachary's father, says he was just as surprised as everyone when he received the call that his son's car had been found off State Road 33, east of Soda Lake Road in Kern County. He says it was found close to where his son's cell phone last pinged. The California Highway Patrol says someone spotted the vehicle in dense brush and called it in after they had a crash in the same area. Our, our search was so extensive. And to hear that his car was found, you know, two and a half years later uh, in a place that we had already looked for, it, it kind of it, it came across to me as very puzzling and unusual. The CHP says the car appears to have crashed over two years ago. They're now investigating the vehicle to make sure nothing was mechanically wrong with it, which would have caused the crash. All of these new questions are now leading to frustrations for the Wilkes as they just want to know what happened to their son. So we're having, uh, you know, a really hard time processing this and trying to find closure. The CHP says they're working alongside the Kern County Sheriff's Office to formulate a search and rescue later this week. The Wilkes family is asking, however, that the public does not participate in that search. In the newsroom, Melissa Newman, KSBY News. Melissa, thank you. Lompoc police say they have not received any tips on Wilkes' whereabouts since the initial investigation began. Anyone with information is asked to call the Lompoc Police Department.